Hello, it's Sarah. And it's a beautiful day, you guys, and I should be outside, but guess what? I want to do this. I was outside for the last three days, and so I'm taking a break, and I got my walk in today. So I am relaxing in the craft room. Um, you know, I've been doing these burnings and using the, the painting with acrylics to get that wood burn shading effect, right? So I did one of my previous videos, I did this uh, dragonfly box. And guess what? I am so, I'm tempted to go with that, but for this piece, I think I'm going to add color. So, you know, remember back when I started adding color? I don't think I'm going to completely cover it with only color. Like, I'm just going to hit the spots, mainly the mandala, because then I added just branches. I don't know what I was thinking. I did the mandala a couple, four days ago I did the mandala. And then when I came in here this morning, I was just looking at this part was empty. And I thought, well, I have to fill it in with something. And I don't know. I just started making branches and swirlies and leaves. And then they came onto the front. And then I wrote, practice, serenity. And I put a little Jesus fish on the back. And then I thought, maybe this could be a God box. In Al-Anon, we use something called a God box. When you feel like the weight of the world is too much or, you know, just a problem that you can't tackle at the moment, you can write it down on a piece of paper and put it in your God box. You give it to God. This is actually for ATCs or um, playing cards. Um, but I thought, you know, I could c save them, like write them on that size paper and just stack them in here. Um, that's what I'm thinking right now. And then it just became clear. These branches, it's just being present and, in, and appreciating because I have the moon and the sun, the heart flowers, my yin yang for balance as always. And then I have to practice serenity. You just have to make sure that you, anyway, I want to paint, but uh, I am so like in love with this program, you guys. I'm sorry. So yeah, I've really been loving just using the brown, white, and gold for all of these pieces. But I think today I'm going to include a few other others. Not, I'm not going to get crazy. Um, but yeah, so this little piece was just one of the um, rounds that I did early on. Um, so I'm just going to start. Let's see, I'm going to pick some colors. Let me come up. I'm going to use, uh, definitely need a green. This little um, basket I've been holding most of my enamel paints. This is more like a, um, oh man, see I could use teals. There's so many versions of color that you can use. There's more thinking involved when it comes to this. So this is country red and I do love country red, but I have a gloss. I don't need it though. I'm going to like just pick what my favorite colors are right now. But I need a green. Uh, I've been using olive green a lot. It's a, definitely a popping green. I'm going to use that. I need yellow. This happens to be a gloss and it's called bright yellow. But I think I'm going to keep that out. And I could put orange too. Which I do like to do when it comes to my sons. Let me just start there. But the brown, I'm going to still use the brown and the soft black. For my Jesus fish, I think he's going to be like, I'll use the colors of up here for him. Or I'll just keep them all monotone. I think I just want to start with brown. Because I know the branches are going to be brown. So I think I'm just going to start with that. So let's go. I'm excited. I haven't, you know, I haven't worked with color in a while. Color, color. And here I go with brown. So it's not really color. I wouldn't consider, I gotta get a. So what I've been doing is using the floating technique to get the appearance of darkness and lightness on a wood burning piece. So I wood burn this <clears throat> to get the lines and didn't use very much dark, dark. I only darkened in my um, checkers, and I really didn't need to do that. So, 
for right now, let's start with the brown and just start putting some color on, on and I have a boo-boo, so I'm just covering it up because it looks kind of gross. Yeah, but it's gorgeous out, but I already walked both dogs and I figured I'd take a break and then I'll cook later and um, what is it, Thursday? I think it's Thursday. All right, so I'm going to start with these branches and I'm just going to put some brown and really try to keep it mainly down one side I suppose so that you, I don't want to lose the wood tone colors like just the color of the wood so like say I'm not going to do any more like I want to leave this a little bit brighter and I can always add more as I go so I'm just going to start there so I'm going to go on all these little stumps or whatever they are tree stumps and kind of do just the left side oops I went out of lines for starters so I tried to make branches I'm gonna get a q-tip because I'm oh and before I paint as always I have taken it downstairs and sprayed it which I can start doing that outside now if it's gonna be 70 degrees it is 70 degrees today so um you can you can spray uh where am i over here all right so i'm gonna go on the left side of the branches but i'm not gonna do i don't want to fill it in yeah i'm liking how the camera sees it you're you're getting an idea of what i'm going for anyway and i could speed up these videos and um you'd still be able to understand because I do the same thing, the same process. Babe, I'm filming. You can close this door for me if you wouldn't mind. Thank you so much. <laughs> he says, Roger that, Roger that, Roger that. <laughs> Anywho, um, it's, a flo it's called floating. And that's the way that I load my brush with this brown paint, it's to get it to float across the bristles so that I get a graduation in, from dark to medium to light. That's just a, a, a decorative painting technique that I've used um, because I've been a decorative painter for years and years. And even though I've, um, I am now delving into all types of things, I end up going back to it uh, because I, I say I like to say I'm proficient at it right like I've got it down so why wouldn't I utilize that that specific skill that I have to get you know a desired look even though in mixed media you might just smudge a, a water-based marker or um, you know blend a, a Faber-Castell um, whatever those thingies are called uh, I can't think of it right now so there's more than one way to get the desired result and because I'm not proficient, I am not proficient at wood burning, I figure I can still get the look I want even though I'm not there yet in my um, wood burning skills. So um, that's where I'm coming from with this idea. Let me get out some green because there's lots of leaves I have to pick a green let's see this is way too you know what I like it's just like a calm um I know I know I know it's called uh hold on hold on mm, Hauser Hauser green light that's a good one or Hauser green avocado 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 it's a little too dark Hauser Let's see, that's dark Hauser Green. I'm so sorry. I should have had these. Here we go. Medium Hauser Green. Can't go wrong. My Band-Aid's falling off because it's a crummy Band-Aid, and I didn't want to tighten it too much. All right. This is going to be fun. Adding color. I haven't been doing this. So let's see what happens. Being proficient at something is awesome, but I also really, really love and appreciate learning new things. 
and even learning new things about myself and why I do what I do. That's what I've been learning about at Al-Anon. So this craft room has become such a place for me to practice serenity um, by, you know, because it's just life. It's just this moment. And when I create, I am in such a, oh, 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 here's some, such a Zen place. I can't help but practice serenity. But I also mean to do it in all other ways. If you can contribute rather than contaminate a situation, that should be the choice you make. And I'm not perfect at it. I'm practicing. I'm trying to practice. And I mess up. And then God forgives me and I forgive me. And I move on and I try to do better the next time. So I'm in a good spot, you guys. Everything's, you know, it's a daily on a daily basis you set your focus there's hard times there's ups and downs balance it's all about balance but I can only control my attitudes and behaviors today I can't worry about yesterday or tomorrow just focus on today I like that color though it's kind of not as popping I could still highlight this stuff you guys don't you know don't doubt it that I won't go crazy and want it brighter but for right now I'm sticking with the feeling of just gently being gentle let's see I think I got all the leaves got a lot of swirlies leaves here ah lots of leaves on the outside and I don't know what I'm gonna do my Jesus fish like I think I painted one with color I'll have to figure dig it out and see because see I'm a copycat I even copy my own work um it just makes me not have to think I, I don't know I just making decisions is also something that's been a struggle for me sometimes I'm just going to add a little green right here I could add a little green on those swirlies and that's it that's all my leaves next I am going to use some yellow I could use orange and yellow but I think I'll use brown because it's interesting I could use the brown here's what I'm thinking if I just go around these petals with the brown first and then just highlight the tips trying to come in oh god so shade them like it would be like oh I want to plant some flowers this year I, I think I've said that before but I've never done it and I want to I want to do that for sure oh I'm getting my vaccine tomorrow I have an appointment and it's about 50 minutes from me where they're sending me which is strange, but because I know um, Joe got his like a month, almost a month ago, or no, anyway, and they didn't have his second dose when he went to get it, so I'm just hoping everything's going to start, uh, everyone's going to start getting them. Um, so I'm going to leave that, and then I'm going to highlight that yellow. Should I do the same thing for my hearts? And my sons I don't know <gasps> um I could nope I'm gonna I'm gonna go full red oh I don't know this is tough I really want to do the Sun So once I do this, I can't get it back. That's the only problemo. Ugh, I don't know what to do. I'm gonna do it. It is what it is. The, what's done is done. I have to make a decision and trust. 
that it's for the best. And when it comes to creating, it's easy to do that stuff. Sometimes life hands us impossible situations. Jeez. Faith comes in. I'm starting to learn about faith. I have to practice it, too. I have not just had faith my whole life like some people are lucky to have. So I'm practicing and realizing that whatever the outcome, I can totally use it to learn from, first of all, and grow. Oh boy, that was dark. But it is what it is. Boom! So I'm going to do my hearts. I'm going to do the base of the heart. So the little pointy part, and then I'll highlight the top of it. I thought Kiwi, I think Kiwi took a bath. I put her in her um, cage Oof. so she could take a bath, and now she hears me talking. So she's like, uh, I'm done. Can you come get me? All right. It's going to be good. I'm not scared of it. All right, now I'm going to, I'm going to do my moon white. I just like my moon's white. But I think I need to add some yellow and some yellow. So let me get that yellow. Maybe that'll be it for color. Maybe that's it. Like I'm not going to go crazy and just stick with the browns and see. Like it's kind of a, um, a balance, right, between color and monotone. So this is the first time I'm just trying to Play it down a little bit. Don't go as bright as I always go, but here, watch this yellow. <laughs> it's like the brightest yellow of ever. I could probably get straw. Let me grab straw. I don't, I don't want it to be super duper duper. A lot of people um, actually use pencil when they do, I'm trying to find straw, when they do color on burnt um, wood burnings on pyrography. And, um, dang it, I can't find straw, so I'm going to use this moon yellow. It's a little, but I, what I mean by, um, it's just not, I think it has a little more opacity. Antique, here we go, I'm going to use this, antique gold. It's a more brown yellow, it's like a mustard, so I'll use that. And just see if I can keep it a little less bright. Because I love sparkle and bright, but I think this might really be an option. And you know yellow and red make orange. So it can even blend and make orange, and that would make me happy. Now down here, this might not look as bright because I did brown. But... It's not about bright today. I am just putting a little color. I'm just going to introduce some color into this monotone thing I've been doing. Not just gold and white. Um, I could probably put some gold in here. I forgot about that. I'm going to have to put white on my the center of my yin-yang, which I just got some yellow. And then i got to finish those. But I think it's doing what I thought it was going to do. Dude, I love when I put um, that satin varnish on here. Whew, the surface just comes to life. It just shines. Looks so good. All right. Let's see. Um, I'm pretty happy. Now, the hearts... I think I'll highlight them with white. Now, do I want to put a little gold up here? Oh, I'm so tempted. So tempted. Oh, dang it. Because I think I'm just going to put brown. But that doesn't make any sense. Anywho. So, just for right now, I think I need yellow up there. I need the yellow. I need yellow. More yellow. Sorry. Here we go. I 
I didn't really want the all the color to get um, I want the wood grain color to show through somewhat but I'm just such a heavy hand when I flute I'm trying to keep this right up against that top line but man that's good I'm happy listen color is color I can't you can't fake it you can't Try to mute someone's color. Can't mute it down. I'm glad I went with a less bright yellow though, but um, I can always pop it up with a little something in the mint in a little bit. I'm just kind of feeling it out. This one got really, you know, it's just the different color wood too. That's what really makes it look pretty. Uh, right, right in here it looks more um, looks like I added something in there but that's just the color of this piece of wood going across did I hit it all all right let me go up a little because I'm sorry I come out of the shot too much when I this is really super subtle that did not just show on um, camera I'm gonna go in with some soft black now guys and wait till you see what this is gonna do um, on my other piece I went in the darkest dark areas so for right now I am going to I'm going to use this to do where my to, to represent sky oh no it's very dark very very dark I'm looking for a piece of paper towel I don't have one handy I'm going to keep it just to one side so I'm just going to go down I think I'm just going to go this way so that one I kind of started in the corner but I'm going to just go down one side and then I'll pop those moons with white it'll look good don't worry eh. I gotta go a little further across I think Maddie just came back from his walk. I think he's going to change my oil today. So when I go for my drive tomorrow, I have a nice lubed up car. Um, it's so nice out, you guys. So yeah, after I paint this, I'll go sit on the porch for a little bit for sure. That looks good. I'm happy with this. Okay. And then I think I'm going to go across the whole, I'm going to go to my bigger brush and you'll see what happens. This, it's just been great using the soft black, adding another um, value. It's so amazing to me how pe pyrographers do this with just using a wood burner. I'm just using paint. I'm gonna have to just let that dry and then I'll come back over there but I'll go down this side I don't have as much water in my brush I can tell it's kinda I'm not able to pull across oh man I am gonna go here I just touched it See, you can pick it up. I got it on this part. It's okay. It's okay. It's okay. I will hold it here. And I'm going to go here. I could have taken off the clasp because there's there are screws there, but that's me being lazy. And I really just realized, you know, like, I can go around it. It'll look fine. Certain things I don't get too picky about. I'm not, I'm not like a picky, picky person. Although, depends on what it is, right? I mean, we all have our times. You got to choose your battles when you want to be picky, I guess. Oops. Oh, God, that was so sloppy. <laughs> so sloppy, Sarah. So... Sorry about that. It's supposed to be staying in the lines of. Ch 
Jeez. I will be better on the other side. Hey, Matt. Hello. Filming. Okay. And I just leave the box closed. Like, so there's an opening there, but I just used... Um... I decided to create like the whole piece instead of separating the two, the top and bottom. And then I'll do, let me go back to the top, let that dry. And I'll do the bottom. I think I'm going to stop. I'm not going to go over this, which we'll see what it looks like. First, I'm going to stop. Then I will, if it, if it needs it, I'll add it. Uh, I'm going to start in the corner. See, I kind of went on the yellow. Oh dear, I am being sloppy, you guys. It's annoying when I do that. Take your time, Sarah. So I went over a lot of the brown, but you can still see it. Like I can see the brown under this um, soft black. And I like that. I think it's giving it a definite look that, I, that I'm, I'm enjoying. And it, I did that on this piece as well. Like I did everything in, this, in the regular brown first. And then I came in in certain areas and darkened it up with the soft black. And I, I, that's why I'm doing it like that. Because I... I liked it now I could also go around here hmm but see then I'll lose the the color of the the plain wood right here I could switch down to a smaller brush and I could also do it in brown instead of the soft black and I th that's what I'm thinking I want to do first also, I didn't do any shading inside here, and I think I should do a little something at least. Um, I have the soft black. I think I'm going to do brown. I'm going to go back to the brown, and I'm going to switch to my little bit smaller brush. And I think I did a little brown up against that, I remember. Now I'm going to put it up against my checkerboard and see but this is the brown so we'll see what happens so mainly like between the hearts I could go a little bit under the heart and I'm gonna highlight the little um, two top bumps of the heart I'll probably use white, but I could use gold to give it a little, or I could even use a metallic red. I have a metallic red, so I have a lot of options, but this just needed to have something to separate it. One more. When I start running out of water, just make sure I reload my brush. I'm not doing a lot of teaching with the brush. See now, under here, it definitely seems like there should be something. So I think since I did the top, I'm going to just do the top. I'm going to do under these little petals right here. I'm running out, and I just go back to that little runway because I have water and paint ready to go right there, so... And usually just reload my brush from that instead of going through the whole process. That looks good. So, mm, I think I'm going to add brown on this side too. So I have the soft black up against these edges and I have the soft black in the sky. So I, that might be enough for now. And then I think I'm going to add, oops, I'm going to put just brown around the outside edge of the, I just splashed, um, mandala. There's dots. I'm going to go right over the dots with this brown. I just changed to a little bit bigger brush because it's a further way to go. And I'm just going to start here and gently pull it. 
I'm just picking up a little bit more water and paint and just stick it right there. Do the same thing on the other side. Just got a little more water, a little more paint. Blend them together on my brush, on my palette paper, and then I'm going to stick it down here. Went in the holes because it was too much. And it's coming together. I mean, it's definitely not as bright as it usually is, and I kind of regret putting the red all the way out here. I don't know. It's. I could darken it up. I could actually probably rub a little bit off. And I think I'm going to shade the corners. So I'm getting a little bit of color off. Now that I added the brown in there, it just is kind of, there's a lot of brown all of a sudden. Um, it's okay. I am going to continue. Look, this is just um, me feeling out what I like and don't like about my project. So I'm going to put a little brown over there and just shade the corners. See if that comes that red down a little bit. And I get bigger and bigger as I go. I'm not trying to erase it and get rid of it. I'm just trying to calm it down a little bit. So I did all those corners. Now I'm going to do the other side. And by calm, I just want it to look a little more muted, like a more of a wood burning piece instead of a painted piece. So right here, I think I'm, I'm accomplishing what I wanted. I think it's happening. Because there's still plenty of sunset. I can still see sunset, but I can also still see wood burning effect, you know? So that is that. I need the white now. I need to go in with white and bring up a little bit of the yin yang, the checkerboard, my moons. So I'm going to go with white. Let's see if I have my plain old regular white. Uh, what in the world? Um, because I've been using the, um, this is a satin. I'm gonna go with this. It's just handy. But like I don't have like just a matte white in front of me so I'm just gonna, oh wait, nope that's a gloss enamel. I'm gonna use the satin. And we're going to do the moon. I'm going to just go down to a little bit smaller brush so that I can have a little more, more control. And I may base coat it in like I might to get it really popping. But for right now, I'm going to do, again, a float. So I'm taking the color and I'm swooshing it, ooh boy, around this back edge. And I'm going to move, I'm just going to keep going like that around the whole piece and see if it's what I like. I should go this way because I'm putting, I'm going to end up putting my hand in. Oh boy. I don't want to lose the wood burning, like the line, you know. So... This white is really opaque. But see, when once you add that white, oh man, it starts to come together. I'm going to grab like a number two round or so, something like that, to do the little checkers. What is this? Yeah, it's a number two. These little checkers, which I could probably even, and I'm going to fill in this yin yang. I think I'm going to go smaller. I might have a number one. These are all new brushes, so I haven't used them very often. I'm not even, oh, here it is, a little number one round. And these are Joe Sonia Shore Touch brushes. Um, I got them from... Uh, 
uh, CD Wood Cupboard Distributing. That's what it's called. So I'm going to try and keep this in the inside the wood burning. So I don't want to I don't want to lose my lines. In other words, and I get it pretty wet so that it it slides decent because. Um, I don't want it gloppy. I just want a nice opaque thin coat. But I don't I don't really want it transparent. Eh. I've done it both ways. I've done it transparent and I've done it opaque. So today, oh boy, oh oh, I was losing my circle. Oh, I lost my circle, but I want it to be the same size as the white one. And then I'm gonna do my little checks. Yeah, Cupboard Distributing, uh, Chris Hoy, her name is. Um, I've done a couple of her pieces on my channel, and um, it's great because they offer the pattern packets and the wood piece as well. They also sell other supplies, stencils, brushes, um, pretty much everything you need to do a decorative painting project. So it's like a nice one-stop shop for... Uh, what you need and good quality stuff I I had kind of been hard on my brushes like doing mixed media and um, art journaling stuff like that you can really beat up your brushes and when you do decorative painting you really kind of need to have them in good shape to get the techniques that that you use for decorative painting to work you know your brush kind of does matter and um, I was really just using what I had, and it was working out. I mean, it was fine, but I decided to treat myself. And so, you know, um, I did get a few, a couple good ones that I'm really trying not to use for um, the other more rough stuff that you do. And keep them clean, keep them nice, you know, and then they'll last longer. I have plenty of roughed up brushes that I can use for other stuff, so... All right, I'm tempted to do the other side of my moon, and then I do. I am tempted also to put a dip dot in the all of those. Um, but all right, you know what? I'm gonna highlight on top of my heart with a little bit of white. I could use gold too, see, but I'm maybe I I don't know. So I'm gonna go here and here. And if it's too much, I'll figure that out after afterwards. But for right now, it's not too much. And I think I'm going to put a little tad on my sun sets. Running, I'm running out, so I just need to reload my brush. Did I get them all? Yeah. See, now I feel like it's starting to come together. Um... I think I'm going to call it, I'm going to call it, I could highlight the leaves, that's like the last thing I didn't do, and I could fill in where I did with the brown, like the burning, I could put soft black there, but uh, I think it's accomplishing, I'm still a little bummed that this is really so bright but you know what I don't think I did this right here I'll go over it with brown just still tone that red down right there it's a little too much I think I got I got what I wanted to get just a little touch of color but I still have a piece that looks, oh, now I can do the bottoms. Is this my big one? Yeah. 
I can do the bottom part and then maybe I'll do some highlighting and playing with my my lettering I haven't done a lot of wood burned lettering at all this was my first time I decided I thought at first I thought I was going to make my letters look like branches and stuff oh boy I'm getting a little a little bit dark yeah I thought I was going to do but you can see that it's a little dark though I just brightened it up I just have a heavy hand I mean I really load my brush with a lot of color and so instead of building up to the color I, I get I'm a one and done girl that's generally why because I'm just lazy all right that side did not come out as dark at all and then for my Jesus oh I didn't do the bottom here but for my Jesus fish um, I think I am gonna add a little bit of color just a little bit so tempting I do love color you guys but just for this piece I'm trying to keep it a certain style you know I'm just trying to keep it a certain velocity of brightness <laughs> I don't know if that's the word velocity but I'm just bending my brush right into the clasp and then I think I might do brown down the sides too, but I don't even think I'm going to need it. It's looking good. I kind of want to brighten. See how bright that is? Dang it. Practice got a little dark. It looks fine. Practice serenity. What am I going to do with you, little fishy? I like it. Dude, and guess what, guys? When I varnish this with this, this is satin varnish. Oh, man, it looks good. Um, I think I need to pop my moon a little bit. I'm going to do, I'm going to go back to the other side of my moon. And just float it. So, I guess I could have, so in other words, put it on this side too. I probably should have. I could have waited to walk the dogs, but I went early. I could walk them again. I'm a walking fool these last three days. I went and played with Maya and her brother yesterday. Oh my gosh. I am getting old, guys. Seriously. Like, it's not as easy as it used to be. I didn't get on the trampoline, at least. I think I want to add a little more green. Oof. I don't know, do I? I was thinking at the swirlies, I could add green or brown. All right, I'm gonna figure out what to do and I'll be back and show you the finished piece. All right, you guys, I'm pretty much done. Look what I did with the gold. It is finishing it right off if I tilt it. I put it here all the way around the mandala on the tips of the petals of the flower here and there on the trees and then on the words so the opposite side of the words a little bit on the Jesus fish I just kept it you know wood color I mean this is actually really dark I didn't mean for that to get so dark but it's on the back it's fine and then on the word again now I'm going to attempt to add a few little white dots with a toothpick just to make a little starry sky look even cuter um, because that black color will make this white pop I am really tempted to put the white dots in there, but I think it'll take away. I might, I know what I might do. I think I'm going to dot. Did I get each one? Yeah. I want to try and dot these. I 
I made them so small they don't even have. All right, um, that's backwards. I want a dot. Maybe I could put a dot at the swirlies. I could do it gold or white. I think I'm going to do them gold, and I'm going to use my my tiny little stylus gold. Where's my gold? Right here. And then I'm going to varnish it with um, satin varnish. I'm happy. I think it 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 is the perfect balance between color and monotone. And I think I will continue to add a little bit of color. Like I brightened up the red. I don't know if you can tell. Just on the hearts and on the very center bottom of the um, sun. Like the very bottom. But I did make sure those corners. I won't do the corners as dark. Next, I'll keep them brown and I'll just keep the color kind of in the center. I don't know why. It just who knows if I'll continue to do it that way but I just think that's enough enough color I didn't I don't like it I don't want it to get too colorful I want it to stay in that monotone field without getting away from me because it can get away from me you guys I love color all right so this is that let's see so I'm just gonna and it's not varnished yet but <coughs> I could put a couple little gold dots in the sky, but I don't need it. I'm good. Oh, oh, I could put them right here on the, they could actually be green, but it's okay. I'm going to go gold. And this is all trial and error until this is like the first one until I figure out the way I like it best you know I think I like it like this this definitely got too dark I wish I, you can still see it it's fine and then when I varnish it OMG it's gonna look so good but that's it for now you guys um yeah like I just wish that I hadn't have redded this up too much and it would have been browner and just been more subtle I mean I don't hate it I could add a little Ugh, no nope I'm good that's it thanks for watching